Happy Friday morning, August 23rd, 1963. Or as my mama would say, Ken, hun, you were born the year Kennedy got assassinated. <laughs> I love my mom so much. I'm just like her. Mom texted me this morning. What a wonderful uh, birthday text. Uh, it's early, so I'll call her. Uh, Steve Park, the great race car driver. He texted me this morning and we share uh, August 23rd. Uh, I'm older than him, but we share the same birthday. A lot of people, I woke up right now, I'm at 33 texts. Uh, I wanna thank you all so much. I'm 61 years old and it feels wonderful. I feel good. Brother Rusty would say, Herm, when you get older, you're not as dumb. You pretty much know what's going to happen. I always tell people, I tell some of my friends, you know, for some reason, old people tend to aggravate younger people. It's just because we know what's going to happen. Now we're seasoned. We're like, oh, don't do that. Here's what's going to happen. I, you know, <laughs> I swear it's true. All right, um, I would say my greatest accomplishment is I used to wear my feelings on my sleeves. Um, you know, and it's true, I'm a lover, I'm a people pleaser, I want everybody happy. But now, now you just can't get me. I win at everything. <laughs> There's a little story to that. Uh, my brother, Rusty. Uh, he sure does have a lot of confidence and he sure is good at racing a car and uh, he's good at competition. And he would always say to me, my brother Rusty would always say, Herman, don't be talking to them people. They're your competitors. I'll never forget. I was in a, I was at Bristol and I was in the RV lot and come to find out Rusty's, pe Rusty's peeking out his, uh, his RV window and he sees me talking to, some good race car drivers, but some racers, I was, my, I thought they were my friends. So all of a sudden I hear Rusty hollering after me. Now this is in, a, we're in NASCAR and Rusty's big time. I go to motor and he goes, what are you doing talking to them people? I said, those are my friends. He said, no, they're not. He said, none of them name racers, your friends. They're all trying to get you, Herman. At the, at the time I thought, oh man, you know, kind of hurt, you know, because I felt like I could race these guys and be friends. Come to find out, Rusty's right. <laughs> I call it strong arming. I got I got some friends, but I strong arm them. It, it, you know, you keep hey, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you. So that's probably my greatest gift I've learned uh, in life: keep my defense mechanism up. Because uh, there was a time that people would get me. Now nobody gets me. I win at everything. <laughs> we having fun, but how about that story? All right, well, Steve Park, he's doing real good. He's up there in Lake Norman. I think Steve runs a battery company, sells uh, batteries uh, up there on Lake Norman. So uh, that was really nice to see a text from him, but all right, 61 years old. Uh, this is, this is breaking news in the garage area. I am going to take Social Security at 67 years old. Um, I am going to take Social Security at 67 uh, because all the reasons are just right for me. Probably one of the reasons is I'm still digging, still making money. So, um, all right, everybody. Thank you all so much. I love you. I'm just teasing. I'm being a little snarky when I say nobody gets me. Sometimes they get close, but for the most part, nobody gets me anymore. And that's the beauty of getting older. You know what's coming. Love you all.